I'm back. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's that time of the week again. We're going to do a new comic book day. I'm your host Shane. With me as always is Amy. I say always. I wasn't here last week, but normally. Yeah. Yeah. Very hurt by that. It went well though. Went well. It's a good video. Well done. <laughs> thank you. Well done. Um, thank you for very much for all the comments below. I'm fine now. Thank you. Um, it was really appreciative. Um, so yeah, we got some interesting books today. Some amazing covers. Um, I will say. But before we start. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. Turn on the notification bell. Do all that, the, all the good stuff. And remember, we're giving this bad boy away once we hit a thousand subscribers. So, if you want it, you got to be in it. So, in it to win it. In it to win it. Right. Okay. So we'll start where we always start it with of... the La Yay. Indies. <gasps> right. You go first. Do we to go first. Yeah. Okay. We go first. So this week we have issue number four of Step. By Bloody Step. Now, obviously, this is the comic where there's no dialogue, so the story is gearing up to be something really good, and it's a mini series, but I'm not sure how many parts it is. That's it. I think, That's this, it. Is the, this, think this is the final part. So, if you want to read it all and collect it, you can finally do it this week because the last issue coming in. So and then. The first two have been really good. I yeah. haven't read the third one. Oh, I. I Looked at the third one. Yeah. You don't really read it. Well, yeah, he, but, yeah, he gave so at it. The first two, I just haven't had a chance to pick it up. But yeah, it's, yeah. Pretty, it's, it's worth picking up. I love the idea. It's something of the like concepts. yeah, you're giving you because we had the debate, didn't we? We didn't know yeah. where the story was going, so yeah, it was good. Yeah. We then have the next instalment of Follow Me Into the Darkness by Behemoth, which is an amazing publisher. They're just coming out with some really good stuff. We then have a new issue. I've never seen this before in the shop. Trailer Park Boys? Yeah, it's a TV show from a few years ago. Oh. I never watched it. Laura likes it. It seems really cool. Yeah, so... Devils do comics. For all you Trailer Park <laughs> Boys fans out there, there's uh, this a new comic. And then we also have What's the Furthest Place From Here? And finally, A Righteous Thirst for Vengeance. Yeah, cool. Uh, so for me this week, we've got Walking Dead Deluxe, the reprint, uh, full colour, Number 40. Uh, the brilliant We Have Demons. This is number three. It's the final part. Really great. If you get a chance to pick it up, do it. It's Scott Snyder. Um, this, I can't remember the synopsis for, but I remember I read reading why and why I picked it up. Why do I tell me the synopsis again? Um, I, well, from reading it, there's this kid, and obviously when you're a child, like you're, I used to be scared of like, the dark and whatever, and they scared of the closet, as the, the closet. title says. Yeah. Um, and the, their parents are obvious, obviously like, shut sure, like, it's not, that's not true. Um, but then this weird, like, small, like, dark, skinny monster comes out. And I was like, whoa! Yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's <laughs> why I got it for, because it's another horror one. Yeah. And horror's going down really well in store at the moment, so I'm going to pick it up now. Um, and then there's the start of the new Cyberpunk 27, 2077 Blackout. It's number one, it's a four-part series. And then, of course, you know, because marketing and so on and so forth. Yeah. But it's issue three, <laughs> so it's going to make you go back a little bit. Stranger Things, um, the new one going. Well, it's not ongoing, sorry. It's four parts. This is number three. It's been a really good read so far. And the TV show was amazing. Let me finish it. Yeah. 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 No spoilers, but yeah. No spoilers, but I left it. Yeah, really good. I think it was um, a lot stronger than season three was. That's, uh, from, like, no spoilers, obviously, but from the first episode, I was just like... Someone said on like on Twitter and stuff that it feels like it has the same vibe as season one, but yeah. just so much darker. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they said oh, like it's, it is season, horror. It's, yeah. yeah, season three was kind of like fan service yeah, in it comparison. Was really bad. Yeah, so, but um, no, it was really good. Can't wait for the next part I in know. July. Yeah, yeah, it's wait for ages. And then we got the final season, of season, season four, five. But they only started filming that yeah, so it could be another three years. Yeah, probably. There we go. Um, right, so we go on to the DCs. DC. Not much this week. Oh, I've well, oh, missed an indie. <gasps> Something wrong pile. Little monsters. This is amazing. <laughs> you definitely have to pick this up. I didn't mean to miss that. I was in the bottom of my DC pile. Really great read, honestly. If you're into your vampires and your your dark and stuff, it's not quite horror horror but it is a really great read. I'm really enjoying it. I like the cover definitely cover. pick that up. Yeah, it's a great cover. Um, yeah, so now we go on to the DCs. DCs. I have the annual of Superman. Action Comics, 
A Tale of Two Titans. So if you're a Superman fan, obviously the annual is something that you should be picking up. And then I also have the first issue of Justice League Road to Dark Crisis. If you're keeping up with what's happening in the main ongoing for Justice League, obviously this is where the story is kind of continuing. And I did read, um, I forgot what issue it was, but it had the cool cover with when it flipped over and I read that. I was like, oh, seems X-Men. interesting. Yeah. Death of the X-Men? Death of the Death Justice, of Justice League. League. Death of the X-Men in DC, yeah. yeah. Uh, Death of Justice League, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's going into the big summer saga, so that'll be interesting. Yeah. Uh, Annual season, obviously, so it's uh, Batman 2022 20, is number one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's the four annuals a year now. I don't know how that works. Like. Um, nice Ace on the Lake. If you're a horror fan, again, you need to pick this up. I'm going to admit that I haven't read past number five yet, but I know where it's going and I'm really enjoying it, so can't wait. And then it's the end of uh, Shadow Wars. Shadow Wars Omega, that's all over with now. And um, Things have took a sinister turn for Deathstroke, so it'll be interesting to see where it goes go forward. But obviously Batman's going to be busy now with the Dark Crisis, so all of it have to get that tied up. Yeah. And now on to the Marvels. On to the Marvels. So, I have the Crimson Rain installments of this week. We have Star Wars stuff. We had. We had Star Wars stuff, Vader. And then we also have Star Wars Bounty Hunters. I also have then the sixth issue of Avengers Forever with Vibranium Man. Entering, Entering. Entering Vibranium, Vibranium Man. Man. Sounds sinister. We then have Black Panther issue number six. There's a good um, there's a Heritage Month cover with Miss Marvel on it, which looked quite cool. And we have issue number five of King Conan. Toff. I'm on triumphant. Yeah, glad you said that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What she said. Yeah. <laughs> we have Knights of X, issue number two, a little X Men installment this week. And then the one thing that <coughs> I'm like reading this week is Strange, issue number three. Um, this is Clear, Clear Strange. Uh, she's probably coming up to be one of my favourite characters now in Marvel. I'm loving the run that much. Um, good sorcery. Just all your witchy sort of stuff and the cover, I just realised, was really detailed on this. But the story's really interesting and all three issues so far have been a great... And Jed McKay is the writer and he's just, like, sawing it with Marvel. Yeah, so for me this week I have uh, X-Men Heist of X... No, X-Men 92, sorry. Um, quite cool cover for all you 92 fans, you'll know what I mean. Steam tunes playing now, obviously, in your head as well. Yep. Um, Alien number 12, Alien's back out. This uh, part of the new arc. <laughs> what a cover. How amazing is that cover? Um, I've got some cool covers now coming up as well, so I'm going to do this one first. Uh, the reprint of Moon Knight number one. If you get a chance to pick it up, really great reads. It obviously, it's the reprint, but, you know, um, I've got about 15 copies of the original print over there. Do you actually? Yeah, do. No way. I have like six copies. I have, yeah, I think there's six copies in that pile over there. There's at least six <laughs> copies. I think there's four dollar ones and three or three pence ones and three dollar ones. Oh, I was thinking wow. of, I was picking a Moon Knight before Moon Knight was cool. Were like, you actually? Like, yeah, yeah. I've had them for years. For years old, yeah. I've got four no runs. Way. There's four <laughs> runs out there. So I've got at home as well, I've got like uh, the original one in 200 signed by... Now, I can never say his name. The artist Bill Strauss. Yeah. Yeah. The black and white cover. Yeah, I was a Moon Knight fan before Moon Knight was even, like, a lot of, like, these people, like, yeah, who actually like Moon Knight before him. But, yeah. I, don't, I have that cover. It's over there. I don't, like, don't take offence to this now because I don't know what year it came out. But did you buy it, like, when it came out? No. Okay. You just, like... No. I didn't. I, I don't know how old it was. I didn't know if that was such a quite old. Yeah. yeah. It's probably, yeah, I think it's older than me. Um, anyway, back to the covers. Um... Carnage, number three. This is just brutal, uh, but it's Carnage. What else do you expect? What a cover. What an amazing cover. Now, the cover goes away now, but the inside was pretty good on number one. Um, Deadpool, Bad Bloods, five bad series. Layfield's back. He's back doing his... Well, he's drawn he's feet this time, which he normally can't do, and he hasn't got a massive chest, so... There's some bonuses. It's not a bad cover. It's just not... Just like Cable just looks rushed. And, you know. But talking about great covers, look at this bad boy. Ghost yeah. Rider number three is finally in after being delayed um, with printing. Have a look at that. That is an Feast amazing it. cover. It's just, yeah. Can't wait to read that. Number one and number two have been great so far. And then that. 
That is that. like a cover. <laughs> well, that is my favourite out of everything today. That is also <laughs> quite stunning. Um, Miles Morales, it's the start of The Empire of the Spider, part one. It's gonna be, I'm going to be picking that up. I don't pick up Miles Morales normally, but I'm I'm interested to see where this saga is going to go. Yeah, so. it sounds cool. Um, so, yeah, it's I'm pretty cool. But, yeah, it's an um, interesting week. Some amazing covers. Yeah. That is just the cover in itself. I'd like a uh, normal print of that, please. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I think that's just that. I believe. That's it. Yeah. An interesting uh, thing. I was. Uh, I was last week. Did it... you Did you read anything from last week? Because I haven't had a chance to pick anything up yet. Um, <coughs> I think I did. I forgot what I said I was going to read last week. Um, I can't remember if Power Rangers was last week or not. Because I, I Power spoke... Rangers Godzilla was last week. Yeah, that's it. I remember that. There was something else that you would have liked because I remember I made a comment about it. You did I watch the video? I edited the video as well. Yeah. So <laughs> I did have to watch it. But. Um, but yeah, I just re- I was really nervous, but I got into it, and I someone commented that I had really infectious energy. So cool. Where you going? Yeah, that's basically approval now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the copyright recommendations. I've already said them once, but if you have a chance to pick this up, this this is it's only three parts. This is the final one. Pick that up. Little Monsters, I rave about her all the time. Jeff Lemire, he's a really great writer. If you like any of his stuff, you, you're bound to like this. Ghost Rider 1 and 2 have been amazing. And I haven't read this yet, but I can. I think this is going to be great as well. But I will let you know, because I am going to read that before next week. Closet as well, I would say. Yeah, Closet looks good. Um, yeah, that's by the guy that... I um, can't remember his name. He used to write Batman. That's why I remember it. Batman! So yeah, yeah Closet looks great. But I'm not into my horrors as, as big as I uh, used to be. Yeah, There's so many horrors that yeah. we have. I say that, I've just recommended Little Demons and, uh, sorry, Little Monsters and We Have Demons, which are both sort of horrors. Yeah. But yeah, so pick them up. Remember the, to like, share, subscribe, and all that jazz. Keep your eye on the channel because we've got some unboxings coming up for some TCGs. Um, and then who knows when we're going to get CGCs back in and what state they might turn up in as well. Yeah, that's a. Uh... Fingers crossed this time. Could Kept a silver neon of the last one. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Um, got anything else? I don't think so. No. Right, that's great then. All right, well, that's, <laughs> that's it from me. That's it from me as well. All right, cheers, guys. Good night. God bless. All the best. Bye. Ta-da. Thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Good night. God bless. All the best.